Hello, beautiful people. Hello and welcome. I am very excited because today we are doing my soon to be famous five by five content planning method. Da, 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 da. We're actually doing part one of my soon to be famous five by five content planning method because part one is all about getting your mindset ready, making sure that you are in the right place to get your content into all the places all over the world. We'll talk about the why behind the what, because if we don't have the why going on, uh, the what becomes kind of like a slog. And so I wanna make sure that we're in a good place for a headspace basically for doing the work of getting our content out in the world and sharing our brilliance with the people. Um, we're also going to dive in on some of the handouts. So let me make sure that y'all have that. This is where to go if you don't currently have your handout for my five by five content planning method. This is totally free training that I am doing part one today, part two on Thursday, and part three next Tuesday. So you can go ahead and get that mapped out on your calendar and plan to be with me for all of this. Brooke is ready. Got her notebook ready. Excellent. Hello, Taisha. So glad you are here. Thank you for reporting in. I'm glad to see y'all. Yes, Stephanie, all about the mindset. Yes, good, Laura. Yay, yay, yay. We're gonna have so much fun, y'all. Um, today is going to be baby stepping it in because I don't want you to feel overwhelmed by all the different ways that content gets used out there. And I wanna be able to talk to people who may feel a little concerned that they don't have enough to say or they don't know the right stuff to say or they wanna be sure that they get it right so that's why they stop themselves from doing it. Um, or people who are like, I don't want to do social media. Like I've come here to see you but I really, really, really don't want to be a content generating machine. Um, and we're gonna just kind of talk through like some mindset stuff and I'm gonna fix my askew eyebrow. Um, we're gonna talk through some mindset stuff today to make sure that you're in a good place to do this because on Thursday, we are going to, thank you, honey. One of them um, didn't work. Oh, no, this definitely is, So yeah, we definitely have some printer stuff going so, on. Well, the printer works, it's the, it's the software that you're using to create this. Canva, but this is also from Canva and so is this. Okay. So what is unique to that? I, I don't have probably so, your fonts. Okay, so the question is, did anyone have an issue printing the page that looks similar to this. This is not the final version because it printed, <laughs> our printer is fighting with this, this document in the final version. And so this is what Keith is telling me actually, uh, there are some other issues that the printer is having with that document. And I'm gonna make sure to, that y'all were able to get that if you, if you wanted to cue the Rocky song, says Laura. Hello, Lenka, thank you so much for joining us with the Euro Ninjas in the house. Anna Maria, always good to see you. Hello, Heather. Sandra, watching at YouTube. So good to see you, sweetheart. It me, says Kimberly. I know, sweetheart. I know. It, it can be really overwhelming to get the content going and to reduce the overwhelm of all the ideas or help yourself when you're sure you don't have enough ideas or it's all been said before by somebody else who knows more and has their shit together more and who do I think I am? Like it's just, all, content brings up all this stuff. Hi Tina, good to see you. Beth, cannot find the chat on the site. Yes, you can chat either at YouTube or at Facebook and both of those links are on bonniegillespie.com slash live. So if you are currently watching at bonniegillespie.com slash live and you want to chat, um, the plugin on the site for some reason is not working today. Um, I'm not going to stress about that. I'm just going to point you to places that are working and know that hopefully by Thursday we'll have the chat working on our site. But right now the chat is only working at Facebook and YouTube. And if you're watching in replay, you can put hashtag replay in the chat, but the only place you'll be able to chat in the replay is Facebook because that's the only place that we leave comments open after. So yes, for those of you who are like, can I catch this later? I know I'm gonna to wanna to see this multiple times or if you're uh, aware that there's a friend who wanted to be here with you but couldn't get it get it going, whatever, great, this this timing, no problem. We're gonna leave up this replay at least for this week while the free training is is happening. Okay, so let's see, Facebook is lagging, says Adrienne. This, this stream, as in YouTube, is the best, good to know. Shannon says, my pages printed fine. April says, I was able to download the workbook without any issues. Luciana says, I printed it fine. Okay, you know what? Beautiful, then we're gonna, we're gonna move forward as if maybe it's just our printer letting us know that it is tired and it would like a break or maybe it would like to be upgraded. Whatever, it doesn't matter. So hopefully you now have your workbook. Go get your workbook. 
If you do not have it, and yes, the fun part of the workbook is page eight of the workbook says, come back Thursday to get the rest of the workbook. Because this is true launch at 85% goodness here, y'all. You know I'm all about get that stuff out there in the world so it can start doing some good even if it's not 100% ready to go because the good that it can do in the world is worth so much more than having everything perfect and having everything right. And so hopefully I'm role modeling all of that with my janky ass printed pages and the fact that the workbook is only done through page eight, through seven, with eight page eight being come back Thursday. Specifically because also I don't want to overwhelm you by giving you all the pages for what we're going to do on Thursday because what we're going to do on Thursday can be a little bit of a mind fuck if you are easy to overwhelm. So I'm just going to make sure that you can't do that to yourself or at least I, I am not contributing to you doing that to yourself. Uh, have you hugged yourself today? Yes. Thank you. Came over from your site. Thanks for telling us. I think it's me. Printer isn't printing well on two sides, says Judy. Okay, great. Okay. Awesome. The workbook. So perfect. Great. Uh, awesome. So self hugs, lots of love. <sighs> Take a breath and be here. We're going to be talking about content. We're going to be talking about the why behind the what. We're going to be talking about some mindset stuff that will help you be in the space for Thursday when we get together and actually dive in on getting your content planned out for up to a year. I can do this in one sitting. I've been doing this a long time. You may be able to also do this in one sitting with me. We're going to find out on Thursday. And then of course we'll gather again on next Tuesday, the 22nd to close off this free series with any questions that you have. And of course we'll welcome people into our hundred day program, getting gear for the next year. For those of you who are joining us for the last 100 days of 2020, if you can believe that it's the last hundred days of 2020 as of next week. And by that, I mean, it's the last hundred days of the 1000 day long year that is 2020. Okay, awesome. Jay, I'm glad you got a neighbor to print it out for you. That is fabulous. Yes, April, it's absolutely my pleasure. Uh, okay, good. Spencer, I'm glad you're hearing yourself de depicted in the how you can overwhelm yourself part of the story. We all can do that. Let, let's be clear, we all can do that. And y'all, uh, grab this URL for those of you who are in the chat, either at Facebook or YouTube, um, because I'm gonna take this off the screen. And if someone comes into the chat and says, where do I get the workbook? If y'all could do me a favor and just drop that link, and I know uh, Lanka will help as well, um, that would be super helpful. Um, so just right there, bonniegillespie.com slash 5x5. And so we, we call it five by five, but it's got an X, in, anyway. Ah, you guys, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so this is something that has been brought to the members of my my JFDI with Bon pop-up course. I, I teach a business course, basically, and I, this is, was not true until March. I started teaching a business course because I had all these clients who had suddenly lost in March their waiting tables job or their bartending job or their substitute teaching job or you know all the, just all the things went away and while on quarantine not bringing in revenue and all of production shut down i had a lot of my clients coming to me going what the fuck do i do i mean and we we were all doing that and we largely still are doing that no just me um anyway i was quick to put together a an offer that is was a pay what you can thing for the whole second quarter of 2020 to let's get together seven times a month and let me walk you through how to get a business going online how to take your great idea and find the people who need it most talk about it in ways that feel authentic and not icky so that the people who need it most feel magnetically connected to the thing that you've created and get it out into the world where it can do some good and it can bring you some revenue back in exchange because that's just an exchange of value for value. Well, one of the things that got very clear as a part of this JFDI with Bond pop-up course where I was teaching how to launch your online business, which by the way, phenomenal. Oh my God, it was such a great experience. So much fun. So many people are bringing in money because of what they started up during that, that they don't now even have to go back to whatever job they had pre-pandemic, which is awesome and amazing and life-changing in so many ways. Um, so yes, I am going to teach that course again, uh, probably next year, but that's not the point of this conversation. What's the point of this conversation is it got clear that a lot of my momentum comes from being a content generating machine. Y'all know you can't Google anything about actors or acting or the business of acting and not land on something that I've written. Like that, that's just, I've got so much content. 
the way that I organize my content is using this five by five content creation strategy, content planning method. Uh, and I basically take my big idea and use that as sort of a 10,000 foot view. And then I take it into five parts. And then I take each of those five parts into five parts. And then I take each of those five parts into five parts. And now I have things that are tweets. I have things that are blog, uh, blog posts. I have email newsletter topics. I have uh, podcast episodes. I have live stream content. I have a uh, long Instagram post. I have Instagram stories. I have Facebook posts, like you name it. I have all the content of all the types that I need for the kind of work that I do and the kind of people that I want to intersect with. And I never worry about, am I going to have content on this day? Or what am I going to say? I never show up to the page going, what the hell am I going to write? I always have that stuff loosely framed out using this five by five method. And it got clear during our business course that y'all could benefit from learning that, learning the five by five content planning method. And I'm like, oh yeah, if this would be helpful, I could totally teach this because I, I could do this in my sleep. And of course I can do it in my sleep because I have a very well-developed, well-practiced muscle for it. So I don't want this to be overwhelming for y'all. I've tried to make it as accessible as possible, starting with the mindset part of the conversation that we're gonna have today. And then we're going to do this part of the worksheet together. So if you do not yet have the page that looks similar to this, again, you can go over to this link. And also this link, link is in the chat at Facebook or YouTube, depending on where you're watching right now. And if you're watching at bonniegillespie.com slash live and want to participate in the chat, you could just go over to the, either the Facebook or the YouTube link, which are linked below in uh, this page at the live, yes, at the bonniegillespie.com slash live location, you're going to want this page because we are going to do this together as a part of our work today. And then when we come back together on Thursday, we are going to map out up to, I don't, I, I don't want to say up to a year. I don't want to say up to a year of, of content because that, that sets the bar really high. It can be done, but I think in the time that we have together on uh, on Thursday, let's say that we could map out what we're gonna do for the rest of 2020 in terms of content. So, why do you need content out in the world? You need content out, content out in the world because people need to start falling in love with you. And content is the easiest way to make that happen. Being consistent in what you put out in front of buyers, and by the way, everybody is a potential buyer, like it, your fan base, your audience, your, sure, if you're an actor, casting directors, agents that are going to rep you, uh, producers, directors, writers who are going to create content for you to perform. Uh, th these are all buyers. Even if you're not in showbiz, everyone who is a potential customer or client or fan, that's a buyer. And even your peers are fellow buyers because they're able to create things that can swirl around you and your audience and help you monetize what it is that you're working on and what you're sharing with the world. And so I want to just get clear that the reason I use the word buyers so much is because it just gets you in the headspace of, right, I'm not just flinging content up on social media. I'm not just throwing up a blog post. I'm not just doing a podcast episode. I'm advertising. I'm advertising. And I'm advertising in a way that feels organic and natural and conversational and that's fun for me. Because if it's not fun for me, why the hell am I doing it? Like that right there has to be primary for me. If I'm not having fun doing it, why am I doing it? Like that, if I built an empire from self-management for actors, by the way, which was created using five by five content planning method. Mm -hmm. True story, true story. This right here exists because I created content every week for my buyers and then paid attention to what resonated. That's it. Starting in 1999 when I started interviewing casting directors for Backstage. So you can build an empire off content using the five by five content planning method. So that's why I'm so excited to share it with you. So here's what I need to know from you. What is it that has you feeling most not okay with churning out content to land in front of the people that you're hoping someday finance your dreams and invest in you and help you build an empire? What, what is it that feels sticky about tweeting 
or going live or sharing a story, uh, a blog post, starting an email newsletter. What is it that feels icky or sticky about this to you? I'm so glad y'all love the book. Thank you. Yes, creator, not consumer, Kelly. Yep, creator, not consumer. That's the lens. Good, David. I'm glad rest of 2020 sounds manageable. Good, good, good. Yes, JFDI team, Beth in the house. Whoop, whoop. Awesome. Thanks, Karen. I appreciate that. That is a skill from journalism school, being able to respond to comments while we're streaming live. That is that is all of that. Uh, all that J school training, faux show. Okay, feeling as though no one is interested. Camille, are you interested? Are you interested? Are you interested in your content? Because if you are, it doesn't matter if anybody else is. And by the way, if you're interested in your content, someone else will be. But you have to be interested. You have to be interested. That voice that's coming in and saying nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody, nobody cares, nobody cares, that voice, that's just suits rushing into the writer's room. And we have a rule. In, in my team and in my world and in our JFDI course, we have a rule, no suits in the writer's room. That suit running into the writer's room to tell you we can't do that is we're in the writer's room, let's say for television, we're in a writer's room, we, you know, we're wearing our, our chucks and we got our feet up on the, the conference table and we're you know hipster gear, you know, hitting a Nerf ball off the wall, like that we're, we're shooting the shit and we're brainstorming ideas for the next episode and a suit comes in, like a network suit, comes in and says, cut that. We can't do that. We don't have the budget for that. We'll never be able to get that actor. No suits in the writer's room. It shuts down all creativity when we let the suits rush in. But if you are interested, then someone else will be. Is it worth sharing, says April? Am I appealing to my buyers? Karen says, when I'm creating content, I'm not doing the actual work. Also, it takes me hours to write a blog post. So Karen, we'll talk about how to get faster. We'll talk about how to get faster. That's great. Brooke says it feels forced or like I'm trying too hard. So Brooke, is that because you are anticipating it to land a certain way and you're trying to create that result rather than just share a thought. Um, I wonder if that might be what's going on there. David says, feeling overwhelmed about needing to be a content creator versus the interpretive art of acting someone else's words. Right, so David, if you could start seeing your content creation as the interpretive art of acting out someone else's words, but that someone else was you when you were in the writer hat instead of the performer hat, that might help. Try that reframe and see. Ana Maria says, I don't feel worthy and I feel I have a look that is not standard. So Ana Maria, um, are, is there anyone who's ever had a look that's not standard who has had success in show business? Hint, yes. It's, if it's ever been done, it can be done again. If it's ever been done by anybody else, it can be done by you. Like true facts right there. Michael says, staying authentic. Nicole says, worried about cancel culture. Yeah. Yeah, Nicole, a lot of people right now are, are in a, in a headspace of just, I can't, I can't, I just can't, I just can't, I can't. Uh, Dan Danielle says, lack of clarity about what I'd like to say for a brand. So Danielle, before you get your brand fully established, do you have things that just feel important to say and stuff that you want to talk about? Because you could start there and then that will lead you to your brand. Kimberly says, what if I only have X things to say? Get the fans and then run out of things of interest. Kimberly, I love that you shared this because wow, ain't that the truth. My favorite thing about sharing is that once I share, I get me too. I get yes and. That, that is one of my favorite things about putting things out in the world is it's always met with a response. Every single email I send, I get a reply at least a reply. I usually get hundreds of replies from people coming back and saying, oh my God, this was just for me. This was so great. Or I don't know, I are, I'm going to argue with you about this. Go look at the blog post that started this five by five conversation last week where I said, do y'all want this free training? It's got 60 comments on it. And those comments are all from people going, here's why I want this. Yes, this sounds great. Or only if you can do this. No, it's not for me. But the conversation is there. And with every one of those bits of conversation, that's a new jumping off point for a little nuance with this topic. It becomes a subtopic of this topic. So um, can, you, can you give future you a little credit and say, yeah, right now, me is concerned that she's going to run out of ideas, but I believe in future me. I believe in future me, and I think she's going to probably have enough. Not sure I, I, what idea to start with, says Sandra. Wanting the content to be a true reflection of me and not artificial. Says, yeah, Shannon says that. Jay says, I feel like I might not know how to use all the platforms. Okay, Jay, we're going to tackle that one today. We are going to tackle the not how to use, I don't know how to use all the platforms fear today. 
today. Beth says, struggle with finding an idea big enough to stick with for a while. So Beth, could your idea that you stick with just be, here's what's turning me on today? How's that for an idea to stick with? Ellen says, what is most beneficial for actors to post? Uh, good question. Can it be you or should it be only monologue scenes, etc.? So Ellen, this is a great question because as a performer, you want to show, here's what I do as a performer. Here is what it looks like when I'm doing these monologues, these scenes. Here's some audition footage. Uh, here's a, 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 one of the dailies from this new project that I'm working on. And this is a piece that's not going to make it into the final film, but they decided to let me use it and show it to you. Um, like, like showing you in character versus showing you as the performer. How closely does you as the performer align with you as the actor brand is the question I would ask. Because when I was acting, my brand as an actor, the, the roles that I played were pretty damn close to who I am as a person. I wanted my actor brand to be the next Julia Roberts in 1988, 1990. Like I had big plans. Like I was going to be the next chick from Atlanta to make it out to LA and, and do all the things. Um, but that's, that's not, that's not who I am. I am folksy. I am a good old gal. I am going to swear. I'm going to throw darts with you and shoot pool and back in the day, drink you under the table. Like there was a whole bunch of good old gal shit about me that is actually a part of my actor brand. So for me back in the day, putting out a scene or a, an outtake or a self tape moment where I would, you know, a flub and then swear at myself would be completely on brand because it would be showing this is who I am, not just as a performer in that moment, but this, this is actually who I am as a person, which only serves to help you understand my brand as an actor. But if your actor brand is serial killer and the real you like rescues puppies, I would say that there could be a disconnect that you want to um, navigate uh, with a little more strict, uh, a little more strategy. I, yeah. Fear of being off brand. I see that a lot. Yeah. Linda, uh, Sean saying feeling inauthentic imposter syndrome. Yep. 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 Woo. Okay. Y'all, this is great. Oh, Gracie. I'm so glad you're here. My God, there's so many comments. Okay. So, all right. Y'all have a ton of things that you're sharing in the comments that I'm not going to be able to get to everything. Is there a free workbook? There is Jennifer. Thank you for asking. The free workbook is right here. BonnieGillespie.com slash 5x5. That stands for five by five. And I want you to have this page printed and ready to go for the work we're going to do today. Uh, the rest of it is for your instruction. And certainly if you're a workbook printing kind of person, you can print it all. But um, if you're like me and you only want to print the page you're going to need, that's the page you're going to need. And I'm going to be walking you through that shortly. In fact, we're going to do that right now. We're going to do that right now. So take a moment, grab that page. I'm going to talk a little bit more about mindset while y'all printing that out. Let me leave that up in case you need it. A little more, a little more mindset stuff. So here's, here's what you're going to agree to do with me today. I hope. All those objections, all those worries, while we are in the brainstorming process for five by five, we're going to put all those worries just in the waiting room. Just let them hang out in the waiting room. This is actually a tactic you can use when you're auditioning. Back, back, back when we used to go out in front of people in real life to audition, there's this waiting room which is this place where there's all this nervous energy, there's all these waiting room games and the, you know, like whispers and sideways looks and all that bullshit going on, right? Waiting room. It's your turn to come in to the casting office and show us what you got. You leave all that shit out in the waiting room. You leave all that shit out there. Leave all the worries, leave all the, oh, I'm not this enough, that enough. Why would they want me? They were laughing so hard at the last person who was in the room. All that bullshit. Leave that out in the waiting room. And then you come in there. And for that moment that you're in that room, the role is yours. You're just playing. You're having fun. You're showing us what you do with that set of sides. Can we agree that we have just now gotten a whole bunch of worries out? And we're going to put them over there in the waiting room. They'll still be there. They'll still be there. We can go pick them up on the way out. Or we could leave them. We could just leave them. Just abandon them in the waiting room. Like They, they don't have to come with us to go home. But for now, we're going to leave them in the waiting room and we're going to go in. We're going to go in. We're going to go in and we're going to do the work of the brainstorming. And here's what that is going to look like. Y'all now have to tell me, can you see my handout 
on the screen because I'm doing some fancy, fancy, fancy things. Jessica says, I can have an unhealthy relationship to social media and work hard to stay off. Need to figure out how to create content and not let it feed anxiety. So Jessica, go back and watch my live stream from earlier this month called The Creator, Not Consumer. It may actually be from the end of August. Um, but go, just Google Bonnie Gillespie, Creator, Not Consumer, and watch that live stream because I specifically talked about the mindset that can help you go onto social media um, in a purposeful way so that you are not using it addictively and you can tell the difference uh, between when you're using it authentically and when you're using it addictively. Um, great. Okay, cool. So everybody can see my face. I know. It's fancy, right? I know. Keith like set up this whole thing with um, a couple of our, our amazing ninjas. Um, you know Diane Hutton and Tony Noto, uh, the only human beings that we have actually come in contact with in, in, in the entirety of quarantine. Um, and we had them over to, uh, to help us set up our whole like next tier situation here of technology. So I know I'm, I'm pretty freaking stoked. Like this is, this is Twitch approved. It's not Twitch approved. It's, it's Twitch talent approved. Okay. So here we go. We are going to fill this thing out. I want us to do a brain dump. And here's what I mean by a brain dump. We are going to list in every one of these boxes, all the places that we can think of that our content could go. So I have five different categories and then one for other because that's going to be everything else we can think of. So written words, anywhere from 500 to 5,000 word content limit, okay? So that means long form blog posts. So I should write that, shouldn't I? Blog, um, long Instagram posts because you could, you could post 500 words in a long Instagram post, right? Um, Facebook, definitely I can do that many words in Facebook. I could do a LinkedIn. Y'all write in the chat some that you're thinking of. A LinkedIn blog, if I want to, but see, I, and immediately my, my, my gut, when I write the words LinkedIn, my gut goes, Whoa! because I left LinkedIn, LinkedIn in 2012 when they had this massive data breach. Yes, Brooke, I'm a lefty girl. Uh, they had a massive data breach. And instead of realizing I had an entire decade stretched out ahead of me to have data breaches in my life, um, I, I burned it to the ground. I said, fine, take my 5,000 contacts and connections over at LinkedIn. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the party because you did not treasure my content or my, uh, my, um, my, my data. And so, um, yeah, I threw a little fit and left LinkedIn and I should have stayed, but that's okay. Uh, newsletter. Ooh, that's a good one. Like an email newsletter. What else? Uh, the blog post I've got. Uh, Twitter thread. Ooh, I like the way you're thinking, Lauren. That's outside the box. A Twitter thread. Ooh, I like it. Guest post at somebody else's blog. So we've got mine and then also guest. Love that, Kelly. Thank you. Reddit. Absolutely. Medium. Thank you, Brian. Sketches, book chapters, pilot spec script. Yes, I love that. Where would you put those though? Let's we're talking locations, Brooke. Where would we where would we put all that? Oh, an ebook. Heck yeah, April. Yes. Love it. PDF, manual of some sort, checklist. Checklist may be a little shorter. Okay, so actually now let me start jumping over to this column over here where we're going for micro. Like my micro content would be a tweet or short Instagram. Here's where being left-handed is gonna be challenging because y'all aren't gonna be able to see through my hand as I write, but but we, we set it up pretty good. We set it up pretty good. Uh, let's see, a PDF checklist or a one-pager. We could do a short Facebook, put that there. We could actually do short blog if we wanted to count that there. Sometimes find other actors' constant posts and selfies obnoxious and self-absorbed doesn't make me want to cast them. Judith, yeah, that's great, but that, that just means you're not their buyer. You're not their buyer. Go back and watch a live stream I did in early February, I think, or late January, I think early February, called Why Some Folks Just Don't Like You. 
why some folks don't, just don't like you. Because so I, I see it as a filter. If I'm not into something that somebody's doing, I'm like, great, I, it's a filter. It's a filter. We're not, we're not fated lovers. We're not meant to be. Uh, let's see. Where else? We Stage 32. Oh, that's a good one. Thanks, Linka. Um, we have medium. Yep. Great, great, great. Yes, Brooke, where do you publish those things? That's exactly what I'm asking. Professional publications as a guest writer. So, uh, Ellen, like where? I agree. I just, I want to like list off some specific places. Like I know we've got medium on here, like a, like HuffPo. Elephant. What's the elephant one? There's, there's a few. Uh, micro is a me. Oh, a meme. Yes. Memo. That's good. Because on a meme, like you could just, you could even use a quote by somebody else that's on brand for you and make one of those little graphics. And you can just use something like, um, uh, you, well, now you can just create it within Instagram, but you could use Canva, you could use uh, Word Swag. Like there's so many, there's like meme generators all over the place. Yep, Fiona, you got it. Tumblr, good one. Some of these cross into both. Ooh, a postcard. Lauren, you are so thinking outside the box. I love it. Definitely. Definitely fits in there. Howl around. Oh, that's a good one, yep. And those of you who are like, I have never heard of these, good. Now you have new data. Snapseed, have not heard of that one. I'm writing it. Seed. Snapchat. Slackjaw, what? Okay, so we've got written, micro, written, 500, 5,000 words. Obviously, there's so many more we could put. How about audio? How about audio? Yes, Ellen, those are great. Yes. Oh, this, you know what? If you're someone who writes like a fiend, like me, go subscribe to uh, HARO, H-A-R-O, help a reporter out. They are always looking for people to help as sources or experts or people that they can quote in stories and that'll also give you a really great idea of places where they're constantly generating content soundcloud podcast so stitcher apple itunes um Yeah, oh, an audiobook. I love that. Spotify, good one. Thanks, Sean. ACX, yes. Get that audiobook money. Get that audiobook money. We could just do MP3 downloads from my website. Audiograms, yes. Ooh, what was it? There was a. We tried this for a while. If May is here, she'll know the name of it, but I don't I don't remember the name of it. Maybe somebody else will. We used to, or we tried it. It, it ended up not working the way I wanted it to, but we, um, there is an app that allows you to take audio from your podcast and then it transcribes the words and puts them graphically on the screen in in time with the audio. And then you put it on an image that then is your Instagram story. Like, it's so cool. So I'm going to put IG stories for audio. That's good. Headli Headliner. That's exactly what it is. Thank you, Brian. Uh, that's it. Yep, yep, yep. Anchor. Yes. Thank you, Lanka. And I know every band camp. My God, you guys. You guys. Are you feeling it flow? Are you feeling it flow? YouTube, absolutely. You can go audio only at YouTube. There's plenty of stuff that I listen to that's just audio only at YouTube. Insta, Insta post where it's just, yep, the meme with audio in the back. Yep, yep. Use it for your podcast. You can do audio on YouTube. Just put image behind it. Headliner, great. You guys, y'all y'all rock. Like, are, are you seeing how this, this writer's room energy gets going? Are you seeing, like, this is exactly what we want to tap into? We want to leave the suits out, out in the waiting room. And we want to get the, the flow going. Because once the flow gets going, we find there's so much potential for where we could go with content. So let's move now over to video, five to 55 minutes. 
so this is considered long form video even even though like it's it's not micro micro obviously is going to be less than five minutes and so just like we did with the written word we're going to segregate those a little for the um for the video as well and if you do not have this worksheet and you want it go grab it right here i'm gonna take a moment to get everybody over here bonniegillespie.com slash 5x5 will get you this worksheet uh, and other workbook pages including like how to get your mindset in order a, a contract you can take out with yourself uh, so that you are not a contract you take out on yourself a contract that you enter into with yourself so that you can really be committed to this journey for this week here that we're going to be doing this free training um, but I would love for you to have that there I know right I know Judy Keith is beaming like a proud papa with this setup I know I know it's great thank you Lenka twitch yes absolutely YouTube Facebook live uh, IGTV good April I love hearing that my brain is not getting in the way of my creativity that is a testimonial right there I may be back in touch with you about that April that is a fantastic testimonial right there this is fun brain is not getting in the way of my creativity Vimeo yes ma'am Vimeo pretend I can spell ah uh, da, da. Insta Facebook Twitter 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 is Twitter long form video can you do five to 55 minutes at Twitter Brooke film festival yep David a million film festivals so many so many so many discord Facebook group yep so at Facebook we've got groups we've got your own timeline a news feed and then you've got a business page several ways to do that zoom yes you could host zooms absolutely Jay yeah Sean yeah uh, Twitter video limit is 220 yep so then we'll put that over here thank you loom yes I just shot a loom yesterday love loom Wistia that's okay Brooke I want you to get carried away I, I just wanted I wanted to put it in the right place uh yes yeah, sequoia a webinar which you could use any of the bajillion pieces of software out there for yeah no no loom 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 loom, loom. yeah yep crowdcast oh i love crowdcast well it, it's got its strengths you know uh does marco polo let you go that long kelly i don't know marco polo somebody else will have to answer that question um so which ones of these can also live over here could you go micro on twitch i don't know i'm not a twitcher let's see stareable don't know that one thanks sean uh, ig reels would be short form yep good call shannon zerb amelia what is that God, i'm gonna have so many things to look up a video podcast is that micro april or macro marco polo for sure okay you can record on zoom as well says Gracie yep Facebook personal website yep oh yeah web my own website and that actually can go here as well Marco Polo feels best suited to micro great I'll put it there TikTok. I've decided generationally I was born too early to do TikTok. I've I've decided I've, I've just declared it I've declared it I'm not a boomer generation X but I've, I've decided no no on the TikTok. Uh, oh let's see who's talking about AppSumo we love them Sequoia says you can find lots of uh, affordable software tools to help you do some of these at AppSumo yep we love AppSumo um, that's actually uh, one of the like secret weapons oh my god is just paying attention to what Noah Kagan says he's brilliant uh, host a video on your website not live could host yeah it doesn't have to be live this uh, video does not have to be live at all Instagram stories and reels so over here at Instagram we've got stories that's micro snapchat of course how could we forget uh, where'd periscope go oh poor periscope we forgot about you boo uh, Pinterest Tina can we do video at Pinterest this is news to me a lot of festivals love micro films okay so some festivals 
Love that. Quarantine Cabaret. Jay, oh my gosh. Tried it and felt lost. Okay, Brooke, not just me. Jay is a boomer, yes. For longer video, virtual theater. Oh my gosh. Are you having fun yet? WebEx. WhatsApp. Cameo. Isn't Cameo over here? That's for famous people. Um, Y'all, look at all of this. Now, other, you think you think so on Pinterest? Let's 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 give let's give it here. Monologue challenges, micro or long, depends on the length of the video. Five minutes gets us into long. Micro, less than five. And for monologues, I would definitely want to be shorter than five. I would probably want to be like a minute, a minute to two. Personally, but that's just me. That's just me. Okay. Uh, branded USB stick. God, Linda, that's brilliant. That's so clever. That is so clever. OnlyFans. Don't know what that is, but I'll put it over here, Barry. I've heard of it. I've heard, I've heard of it because I've seen memes that are making fun of what happens on OnlyFans uh, in ways I don't understand. One to two minute standard. Yeah, agree, Brooke. Okay. What else? Other uh, mini course. Like I am creating a course version of the five by five content planning method and it's not going to be a live stream where I'm stopping and looking at comments and riffing and throwing uh, lower thirds on the screen or whatever. It is going to be a course. And that of course goes over here because it's content, it's content, membership site. Yes, Karen. We have one of those. Our Getting Gear for the Next Tier membership has a vault of 500 plus class pages on top of the 100 days uh, that include all sorts of goodies that are content, yes. Uh, ooh, y'all going fast now, y'all going fast. Vimeo also over here. Uh, we, yeah, we, we, if we got it categorized here, that's cool. Let's TikTok has been crushing it, says Hart. Patreon, Sean, love how you're thinking. Love how you're thinking. IGTV for monologues for sure. Okay, we've got IGTV over here, so it can go here as well. <laughs> Smool. What? Y'all know so many things. We audition. Linka, that's interesting. I, I like that. That might be fun to explore. Put it over here. I wonder if we audition would be a great way to like have some consistent content going up. Yeah, Beth, OnlyFans is for lewd content. Yeah, that's what the, the meme I saw made me think that that might be um, QR codes that lead to your content. Memo, you are on it. Look at you, clever, clever. Facebook groups, Patreon, yes, membership community. What about something like an EPK with clickable links? Yep, Spencer, we love that. We love that. I've, I've helped clients put together EPKs that have, uh, have all sorts of dedicated information embedded in the digital EPKs and then they can track when people click through and so they they send them to specific buyers so they can they know they can track from their own website like who's who is um uh who's landing on things and and checking checking out their work which is which is fabulous absolutely it, oh link in your email signature link in bio and your email sig yes 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 Pornhub. Okay, Brian. Kofi. Beth, what's Kofi? I mean, technically you're right. Uh, UMC TV is good for black stories and content. Thank you, Amelia. So we'll put that over here. Stickers. Unicorns eating cookies. <laughs> ah, excellent. Linktree. What is EPK? Kimberly, uh, electronic press kit. And the way those used to work is we would send over a digital package of here's like, um, you, this is for upper tier actors. There would be an agent that would say when they were, I'm casting something, they would say, let me send you his EPK. And they would send over 
uh, basically a, a almost like a PowerPoint of this is all the branded way that we want you to look at our person and then you know, click here and watch this video and click here and listen to this audio and click here to see more images from this or whatever. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good now. Get record. Flow page. Interesting. Any types of competitive films? Example, Lucasfilm did a Star Wars fan film competition. Flow page. You guys, all right. Do we feel like there is enough here that we could probably find five places that we would want content to go. Who who from here can find five things, five places that don't make them want to throw up? The reason I ask is you're not going to do this if it grosses you out. Yeah. Holy Moses, there's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Meat. I'm good. Yep. I can. Wash hands. Yep. 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 Me, everybody. I can do it without throwing up. Yuppers, good. Oh, hell yeah, says Beth. Good. Me. Great. Great. Take a breath. Hug yourself. That was a lot. That was a lot. Here is your assignment. We are going to meet back here on Thursday. We're going to meet back here on Thursday. Let me put this one more time. Make sure you have your workbook because there will be more pages. There will be more pages to your workbook. I will also send an email. So if you're on my email list, you will receive an email on Wednesday night with a link to your workbook so that you don't miss a thing because I'm going to have probably 20 more pages in the workbook, but you'll only need to print out a couple of them for Thursday. And I will let, I'll make sure to let you know which pages you'll need to print out for Thursday. I'm really, really into y'all conserving the paper, even though like I have, I prefer to work on printed just because that's how my brain works. Oh, this was, um, we're going to be using this. We're going to be using this on, um, on Thursday. We're going to be planning out, but this is my, this is my woo calendar. We're going to be planning out when to do what kind of content based on, for me, what kinds of moon phases we're in. Cause that definitely affects like when I want to go live and stuff. But so go to bonniegillespie.com slash five X five to download your workbook and to, yes, ha, look at the magic, uh, and to get the new pages, which will be available for you before Thursday. But on Thursday, we're going to meet back here and your homework is to take this list, take this list. Thank you, Brian. Thursday at noon Pacific, right back here, bonniegillespie.com slash live for sure. And then we'll push through to Facebook and uh, YouTube. And we may have chat going at the that URL, bonniegillespie.com slash live, but don't count on it. Just be surprised if it's there. Your, your homework is to highlight which of these or circle which of these turn you on. That you're like, yeah, I could put stuff there. I could put stuff there. Cross out anything that you're like, it exists, but I don't want to do it. Like I would cross off Snapchat. I would cross off TikTok. I would cross off. Where did I, did I even write TikTok? Oh yeah, there it is down there. I would cross off LinkedIn, I already said, yes. What would I cross off? I would cross off Reddit, not my scene. I would cross off ACX, audiobook. Eh, I, I've done an audiobook, it's just a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Y'all y'all, should get paid way better for doing audiobooks because that's a, that's a lot of work. Uh, for me, for me, but for somebody else, it's like, I could churn out audiobooks all day. Great. That's what you lean into. Please. Can you remind me what was the one that you mentioned to help reporters out who are looking for content right there? Haro H A R O that acronym stands for help a reporter out and you can subscribe to their emails and they email three times a day on weekdays to list off every place that a reporter is looking for help with an article. Um, I became a source for E and Yahoo Movies, and oh, what was the other one? There was another big entertainment platform. Shoot, it's, I'm blanking on it. Uh, back 15 years ago, I became a, a regular source for help for, through Help a Reporter Out for a series of reporters who were, oh, I did stuff for BBC Breakfast. Um, I did a Good Morning America thing. Like, there's just so many things that just looking at that list every day and then pitching yourself 
to these reporters to say, yeah, I'm someone who can talk to you there. Um, that it's a fantastic source. If you're someone who is like a, a, a writer type, Lenka says, Oh, Lenka's uh, giving Twitter's a great source. Have some websites. Great. Uh, Lenka has a list that she has put together on Twitter with some places uh, that are social animated whiteboard. My God, you guys, they're still, the ideas are still coming in. April asks, how many of these do we want on our go-to list? On your go-to list, you want five. And if you're like, Bonnie, I want to do 10 of these things. Yay. Do 10. But minimum, I want you to have five places that light you up, that you're like, yep, I can do that. I can do that. And I don't have to do it every day. I don't, like, we're going to get to the calendar part on Thursday. Don't, we may even save the calendar part for next Tuesday. Because what we're going to do, oh my God, you guys, I'm so excited. What we're going to do on Thursday is I'm going to take you through the mind mapping process of taking your big idea and turning it into big, big idea, big picture, turning it into five categories, turning those five categories into each five breakouts. So that's now 25 things. And then taking each of those breakouts and putting them into five topics. So now we're at 125 things. I know, see how fast this escalates? and then how we're able to selectively from there assign the things that we're going to do in our world to the places where we want to do them and then we plot out on the calendar when we want to be doing what and then without any effort whatsoever beyond that sitting we know exactly when stuff is going to go live in what channels and we can pre-schedule it if that's our thing if it's not your thing to pre-schedule i'm not a bot person part of my brand is transparency and authenticity and launch at 85 percent, which means we don't use a lot of robot technology although i think there are a couple places where we do scheduled tweets or scheduled facebook posts but by and large it's just if you see something posted it's because i was in the mood to post it at that moment yeah uh, off topic slightly, what is your tattoo? Millie, it is I Belong Here. And if you Google Bonnie Gillespie, I Belong Here, you will find a YouTube video in which uh, I tell the story of this tattoo because I share this tattoo with actually a few people who are on this live stream and in the chat right now. We, uh, we share this tattoo. Some of us went and got it together and some of us got it later after hearing the story. But I know for a fact that we've got, we got some tattoo sisters here. Uh, so just Google Bonnie Gillespie, I belong here. If you want to hear the story of why that is, um, an important tattoo in the, in the world of, of the Boniverse. Um, yes. Okay, cool. Five total, five for each section. Amy, five total, five total. And it doesn't mean you have to pick one, 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 one. It just means p pick five. They could all be from one space because it could be more on brand for you to have five places that you would want to go live. Or fi like I like if you're like I love live video and I want to do it on, on short form and I don't want to have to have a lot of st strategy around it or structure to it, like you may go I'm all micro video. That's great. Then just know all the places that you could possibly go. Yep, Gracie. I was hoping you'd say hello. Yes, Gracie's my tattoo sister. Uh, April, this takes all the millions of things that one can do as an actor and focuses it in, focuses it into a logical step by step plan. Just guessing. April, I'm seriously coming to you for testimonials. I am seriously coming to you for testimonials, girl. That is so good. Jay says, Grandma Jay has ideas. Watch out. Yes, Sean, it is a good tattoo story. It is. I know. I love systems, too. Y'all, once we can get this into a system and a structure that makes sense, then this can just be humming around in the background, and we don't have to stress about it anymore. So the goal of what we're going to put together, and feel free to get any last questions in the chat while we've got a few minutes. We've got like six minutes, and then I'm going to be done. Um, I would love it if you would share any quick questions that you have about this, but here's the, here's the mindset I want you to come Thursday with, okay? Come with those printouts from the workbook, which I'll email you the new workbook if you're on my mailing list. If you're not, you can get on it at bonniegillespie.com slash 5x5. Um, can you get on the mailing list there? Go to, just go to bonniegillespie.com and there's down at the bottom of the page, there's a place to get in the mailing list. We're, re we're rearranging a lot of things on the website right now, so um, it's in flux a little bit, but as tech always is. When you show up on Thursday with a couple of those printouts from the extra pages of the workbook that are coming and bring this back with you, we are going to, I'm going to have you also print out the calendar in case we get to it on Thursday, but this may be more, more like next Tuesday. We are going to dive into this from a headspace of the goal is get enough plotted out in advance so that on those days when I'm like, I just don't have it in me. I just can't do it. 
I'm exhausted. Content can still go up if it is on brand for content to still go up. So for people who are like, I know that the consistency is going to help me. I just can't get it up for doing it. You will have something that you don't even have to think about. The, the only feeling like it you have to do is hitting publish. And you can even go in and edit and tweak some of the things that you had originally written to reflect how you're feeling in that particular day. Um, interview is an idea that covers multiple boxes. I like that. I like that. Good. I'm, Shannon, I'm glad. That's another testimonial right there. So needed this right now is feeling rudderless without any structure. We are going to have so much structure here that you will feel safe to play within that framework. Because my goal is always to give enough of a structure, enough of a foundation so that you're not freaking out. You're not trying to figure out how to get things done from scratch every single time, but instead have lines that you can then sometimes color outside. Because I know it's, it's fun to color outside the lines and I wanna make sure you always have room to do that. But you can't color outside the lines if we don't have the lines. What questions might y'all have before we break for today? Consistency is a scary word, but yes, I'm tapping on it. Good job, Kimberly, get that, get that tapping. Good, Jennifer, I'm so glad this is good timing for you right now. That makes me happy. Brian says, I feel like the most important thing is to intentionally limit choice so you're not overwhelmed. I'm liking this so far. Brian, for sure. Anyone listening to this who's like five, I, I, I could do 30 of these. I'm like, and are you? Because if you're not, you're stopping yourself for some reason. Why are you stopping yourself? Probably because 30 is too much. It's overwhelming. And we go, but everybody's out posting in all the places. Ah, you know what's happening. You're watching everybody post out in all the places. If you watched only one person, you would see that one person is posting now and then in a handful of places. And that's all I want you to do. That's all I want you to do. Yes, Vivian says, can we pick five for our brand as an actor and five for our business? Yes, but Vivian, treat them separately. Treat them separately. You're going to do one page of this, like print this twice. Do one for your actor and then do another one for your side hustle or your jobby job. Brooke, talk to me about why five feels like a lot. Yep. Sequoia, great. Thank you. Also, testimonial language right here. I love it. I'm going to be talking to you. Uh, I have so many different things going on. I've been overwhelmed. This feels great. I feel more focused already. Thank you. Thank you for sharing how this is helping. This is great. Oh, Marie, thank you. I'm actually going to go back to bed right after this because I am, I am, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm tired. I'm tired. I've been working. I've been working a lot. Uh, Lauren says, it's easy to feel that creative burnout. This helps to streamline and be selective about what works for you. Yeah, I know, Luciana. I wrote Periscope in here and went, how sad that we forgot you. How, how could we forget you? How could we forget you? Good, Jay. I'm glad that five places feels good. Uh, Beth says, the knowledge that there's so much out there, but knowledge of, specific, of specifically what, not specificity, specifically what has been a stopper and it ain't anymore. It ain't anymore, Beth. You know, I love taking those stoppers and going, are you really a stopper? Am I using you as a way to stop myself? Do you really exist? It's like that monster under the bed. It's the monster under the bed. When you get up and turn on the flashlight and look under the bed, there's no monster. It's a dust bunny. But as long as you stay in bed certain that there's a monster under the bed, there's a monster under the bed. Like there might as well be because you've decided in your mind that there is. Uh, David says, it seems so much easier to do for my side hustle than for my acting. Am I broken? Nope, David, not at all. Building a muscle for it where it's easy will help it feel easier the next time you try it with your actor brand. So what I would recommend is that you don't try it with your actor brand today at all. Like, don't even try it. I want you to try it on the place where it's easy. This is a divert, dessert first strategy. Start where it's easy and then you will work up to where it's harder but you need the success that comes from starting where it's easy and then we'll build on that success. It's so much easier to do that way. I don't know why we always as humans, I mean, I do know why I study enough of how the brain is made to, um, to, to know how we're wired in this regard, but I, I, I find it fascinating how we as a, as a human brain, uh, as a spirit in this skin suit, will so often pick the gnarliest, hardest, toughest, most struggle-filled version of the experience and go straight in on that. And I'm like, is there an easier version of this that we could tackle first? C could we try the easy way? 
just to, to get some wins and to trust that the system works and that we have the muscle for this. And then with that muscle getting stronger because of those easy wins, go, go do the harder version. I mean, can, can we do that? Struggle with learning new technology, says Brooke. I feel okay with YouTube, Facebook, Insta, Twitter, my website. That's, that's five. Brooke, you're done. You're done. And even with Facebook, there's a couple different things within Facebook. Within Instagram, there's a couple different things within Instagram. You already have more than five, honey. You're done. You, you don't need to learn anything new. You don't need to learn anything new. Yep, start where it's easy. Start where it's easy. Alicia says, what about purely visual content that's not video, still photos? Okay, so that's where instead of video, you would just put stills and you could list off things like Pinterest and other photo-centric gallery-like places. Um, this is where I would look at hashtags on Instagram that are specific to uh, curated photography. Um, uh, you will know better than I about where still photos hang out but you can do the same sort of thing uh, with, without doing video. Yeah, Carrie, for sure, keep them separate. Yep, yep, yep. Excellent, yeah, Brooke, it's gonna, it's gonna help. It's gonna help. You're gonna get yourself all scheduled and feel really, really good about what is already taken care of so that is, as it hums in the background, so we'll end on this. I have a content calendar that is always humming in the background. I know that I have to write something I have to create content. I have to do a live stream, write a blog post, send out an email, do some Instagram stories, and do some tweets, there's five, about actor funk every summer. Because every summer, sweet, sweet actors fall into a deep, dark funk. Not, not talking 2020. 2020 is a timeline that we're all there. We're all there. But... Every year, I love to track patterns. So every year, starting in 1999, the questions that actors would email in just off my columns before I even had self-management for actors in 2003 when the first edition was published, the emails would come in darker in the summer. Like just, I wanna give up, I need to be done, this is too hard. And I looked at that pattern and that pattern became so clear that because halfway through the year, we, we think we're supposed to be so much closer to our goals that we set at the beginning of the year. We finished pilot season and maybe didn't get where we thought we would get. Maybe we got dropped during drop season. Um, we're, we're just, we're not where we thought we would be by the midpoint of the year, yet other people are. So I have to do actor funk cures and mindsets. And when do I quit? I have to do topics like that to get real about the mindset work of choosing a creative career. And I always know that I can do that in the summer. So that is already in place. It doesn't mean that I've already pre-written everything because I have such a strong muscle for writing that I think I would break out in hives if I didn't write 10,000 words a week, just in, in general, like even just in emails. Like I, I am such a prolific writer. It is just, it's how I express. And I could tell you why based on my chart, but that's, that's a woo-woo one, which we're not doing right now. Um, I love that knowing that as it gets into summer, I don't have to go, oh, what, am I, what do I have to say? Because I'm in a funk. And if I'm in a funk and y'all are in a funk, writing about, hey, I see you, I feel this too, actually helps us come together. And all we're trying to do with content, write this down, all we're trying to do with content is build up the KLT factor. Yes, I will tell you what that means, KLT no like trust you're coming to tell me it's one two three four one two three four one two three four okay we are building up the no like trust factor with everything that we put out into the world that means every email technically is an ad every webinar is an ad every blog post is an ad every tweet is an ad every instagram post is an ad even the comments that you make are ads about who you are what is it to be your brand? Shannon, to get my woo-woo stuff? Oh, you know I'm going to tell you. Right there. I am the astrologer's daughter. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, I do have goodies. Go get. Go get. All right. Y'all, this has been a fantastic hour. I am so proud of you. I hope you are proud of yourselves. 
AniGillespie.com slash Astro. Yes, that is where to go. That's where to go for the woo. That's where to go for the woo. I got you. All right. One more hug. Yeah, David, I know. You got you to have those, those, sweet little, those sweet little spouse things, right? I know. Yes, big Astro. You know it, Brooke. You know it. You know it. Okay. No, like, trust. K-L-T. Because when our buyers, our fans, our people know us, so they know we exist. That one's easy. How do you, how do you know I exist? Like, which means they resonate with what we're doing or what we're doing resonates with them. It's the more correct way to say that. What we're doing resonates with them. And then trust. They trust us and that's what comes from consistency. So the work we're doing with my five by five content planning method is we're getting consistent. Because people already know you. They already like you. If you, if you have more than a follower anywhere, you have people who know you and like you. We're going to get them to trust. And that trust is that you show up. You showed up here. Give yourself a lot of credit for that. Even if you're like, ooh, this is a lot. We're going to step away, move your body, hydrate, come back and join me on Thursday. And I will be in your inbox on Wednesday to give you uh, the link to the updated workbook so that we can go deeper on Thursday. Because on Thursday is when we start taking our big idea and breaking it into five parts and five parts and five parts and five parts. So your homework is hit this with the highlighter or cross out the things you don't like, circle the things you do like, do that, and then decide what is the one big idea, the one big picture concept that you're gonna be tackling with me on Thursday. So that is my actor brand, that's one. You're not gonna be doing multiple things. Or it's my side hustle, it's this job that I wanna start up, This online business that I've got brewing or it's this great idea that I had from my dog walking business that I think would be helpful to teach people a thing like what what is the big idea that you want to bring good Andromeda I'm so glad I'm so glad I love it when it's fun I love it when it's fun yes Algerita so good to see you sweetheart yes you will be able to watch this in replay for as long as this free training is up uh, which will at least be through the 22nd of September. And then after that, we're going to decide what we do with it. But for sure, you, you've got a week at least that you can rewatch this. And just send everybody over to bonniegillespie.com slash 5x5 if they want to join in with us on Thursday. It's more fun with a friend. So tell people, thank you so much. I love you, beautiful people. Please take good care of yourselves. You've done good work. Proud of you. Bye.